Welcome to the Salt Circle Podcast. My name is Hank. With me is the man who missed all my vital organs, Ben. Amidst economic catastrophe, a fucking war according to nations on the right side of history, among a bunch of absolute horseshit, through the darkness, a single point of light. Dragon Ball, baby. Yeah, we're here to talk about the end of regular Dragon Ball. Oh, you mean one of the fucking greatest things to ever be put to screen? And nobody told me? Not not wrong. (laughs) Dude, literally, literally, like, we finished recording the last episode. And I'm like, yeah, I'll get a few episodes in. I think I watched, like, we figured it out because I asked you what episode the the t-shirt thing was on. And it was, like, eight of this batch. So I watched, like, four episodes before bed. And the next mm-hmm. day I woke up and I'm like, it was a Saturday. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch, like, another handful of episodes. And I told myself, like, okay, just, like, one more and then we'll, like, get back to this whenever we get back to it. Goku proceeds to take off fucking 250 pounds of clothing. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was going balls deep. And I proceeded to watch the entire rest of the show in one sitting. <laughs> oh, like I've lost my mind watching this show, but I was losing my fucking mind. I was going absolutely like I was literally giddy before his first fight. I was like laughing to myself. I was so fucking jacked. I was absolutely, <laughs> literally giddy. I was so excited. Uh, what? Good in the like, like you said, it, it it just fucking hits and it doesn't stop. Like the entire tournament just bops. Yeah, this tournament is incredibly tightly scripted and paced. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> in a way that's like, you know, having watched. There's no most of Z or whatever, not all of it. I think. Um, when watching this, I was like, this completely blew my mind. Like just how fucking tight this is, even compared to like the other tournaments, because it's not even like, as there's like no like pure gag fight. Yeah. Even. Yeah. God. I mean, the closest thing we get to gags is like Yajirobe's stuff. Sort of. Yeah, which is prelims and mm-hmm. and like I mean Important. Cyborg Mercenary Tau turns out to be a joke, but it's you know Dude, that would that meaningful be so for happy. TN. The honor of killing you. Oh <laughs> God. You have no honor. I have the honor of killing you. <laughs> when it comes to the laws of physics, he's a wanted man. <laughs> like Oh my god. <laughs> My like and it kept built like my hype just kept fucking building. I still can't you know mm-hmm. what my peak my peak has to be Goku like taking off the t-shirt because I was not fucking expecting it at all. And it was such a <laughs> fucking amazing payoff. Like even when he was taking off the shirt, I didn't expect it. Mm-hmm. I'm like literally like, okay, they're gonna do some shit about whatever. Like, okay, he's just taking off the shirt. And then it fucking hits the ground, and I'm like, oh, shit. It's also great, because it's like, this is like the last time, like, it's still, you can still wrap your head around how much weight that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like, it's a thousand pounds or whatever. Two, two hundred, it's I've, like, you know, 250. I've lifted 250 <laughs> pounds. That's fucking like, heavy. <laughs> Moving. Yeah, Moving it all with 250 pounds? <laughs> and he's fighting TN. Fast. Yeah, he's like going that fast. <laughs> I only had I only had one question for this entire thing. When he eventually puts clothes back on, are those the weighted clothes or are they just normal clothes? Because he got <laughs> t-shirt and shit back, but it uh, they yeah. never told us if it was weighted. It's true. So I'm curious, but... Uh, God, this shit was so good. Uh, <laughs> Piccolo's voice is, uh, I mean, I'm glad it is what it is, but coming from like, oh, oh, oh <laughs> was not expecting it to be 
quite so <laughs> normal. I can't. The choice they made for Young Piccolo in the dub, it's unfucking real. I don't understand. I don't. He has like three lines. <laughs> Why'd you yep. have to do him that dirty? <laughs> Like, literally one episode, he's like, I will avenge my father. <laughs> and then you see him, like, ten minutes later, and he's like, oh, this will be an interesting match. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look, he hit puberty at he the fucking, age of two or whatever. He fucking <laughs> railroaded puberty, dude. <laughs> puberty speed run. Any percent. True. Man, I don't even know. Like, where do you? I don't even know where to start. Let's see. So, what we let's start there? with Goku is now eighteen. Yeah, him being big was pretty good. <laughs> Everyone's like, "What?" <laughs> Nobody I love how recognizes the, him. I love how the dub cut out. Uh, just how absolutely fucking moist Bulma was for him. She's <laughs> like, he's pretty. Hot. <laughs> yeah. And then the dub, it's like, wow, Bumble he doesn't know so what to much. do with that. <laughs> she, does, she has no fucking idea what to do with it, dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've I've had that experience. Kind of. Not like fucking being like, wow, they're so hot. But like, you know, I've known some very small children. And then, like, yeah. come back, and it's like, what the fuck? You're, like, graduated you're, now. <laughs> you're, like, a real human now. What you're, the hell? You're a person. You're not just a little meat sack with <laughs> opposable thumbs. <laughs> uh, Krillin's all happy about how much taller he is. And he gets and then, owned. Uh, <laughs> gets fucking wrecked. <laughs> As is as is Krillin's want. Uh, is Shiatsu just the same size? Yeah. Well, he's like a vampire or whatever. Is that spoilers? I don't know. He's a vampire. No, he's based on like the design for Chinese vampires. That's like what his design is. Like, I'm like... supposed to know this. How did this come up when we were introduced to him? It never gets brought up. I don't know. Well, no. I mean, like, why didn't you bring it up? You're just bringing it up now. No. Like, I don't know. 300 I don't episodes know. deep. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it was literally just Son Goku because he was somebody's son. <laughs> you did think that. I guess I uh, forgot to mention no, that makes, used, what that makes sense. design is. Yeah, that little one little hair. Yeah, man. Like the the hopping vampires. Imagine, uh, imagine getting wrecked in a tournament and not spending eight weeks in the hospital. Imagine, you just get one sensu bead and you're fine. (laughs) Dude, I love that. I love that. uh, Like tell, like Goku's like, do you guys want a sensu bead? Like, you mean these? Yeah, we did it. (laughs) Yeah, no big deal. We all went to Corn's Tower. We're cool. We know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Goku's up there fucking training <laughs> under God. He's at a whole other level. Man. <laughs> um, God. So yeah, see. our first... I'm just saying if there's anything... Yajirobe that... shows up in the... Yeah, yeah. He's big. He's in large. His... His wrestler mask. We got fucking uh, a mysterious girl who is very angry at Goku for some reason. <laughs> she's well, no, she's oh, she only gets mad at him once he like, who are you? Yeah, no, but that's like a he comes. Up, she comes up to him all cheerful, Goku, and he's and like, ah, uh, hey, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't know. I mean. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Fucking nobody knew who Goku was either. Ignorance is purity, and Goku has the purest heart in the world. It's true. <laughs> uh, 
Um, got yeah, that's about it. Because yeah. Tien and Yamcha are don't look any different, really. Yamcha has a fucking fucked up face. Yeah, his new scars. No idea how that happened. <laughs> it's Yamcha, dude. He tripped going down the stairs. <laughs> God, poor Yamcha. Oh. <laughs> um. So we got Goku. Master Roshi being a complete creep. Just oh, out of fucking fuck. control. That screenshot that I sent you fucking that immediately f- with that face. He's bad. He's laughing. He's fucking bad. God. It's... I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that fucking face is, like, amazing, though. Like, they, that's Man. the hardest they ever let him go. Like his last great hurrah. <laughs> Not to say he won't be a complete monster again, but well, yeah, it will, it will happen less, much less frequently now because we'll just see him less. God. Kind of. No, he just immediately hops in. Jesus. Ugh. Yep. Uh, Real yeah. Cursed. So we get Goku shows up at the last minute. No, no, actually, everyone else shows up the last minute. Goku Dude, that was, even that a was bit. a cool moment, because Goku's just chilling. He's like, oh, hey, they made it. And then, like, however many seconds later, it's like... Yeah. A little blur. That was cool. They're all strong now, dude. Yeah, Except but... Chaozu gets owned in prelims. Well, yeah, Chaozu gets fucking <laughs> right. He wasn't even using his hands, dude. Well, maybe he was. We <laughs> We didn't fucking see it. No, we see Chatsu. We see Chatsu pointing his fingers. Oh, that's right. Like laughing, and then he's like, Ooh, he gets scared. Yeah, then all of a sudden he just gets smacked. Yeah, yeah. I think I also just think he when he realized it was Tao, he kind of just lost it. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. We get the return of mercenary Tao, but he's a cyborg now. A cyborg. He used all his assassin money. To Darth Vader um, himself. The last thing... Oh, well, I guess, like, Cyborg Tau. Well, no, because we'll talk more about him in the final eight. Uh, the last mm-hmm. thing for prelims is I really like... I mean, getting to see that little bit of Goku. And he's just, like, doing a little, like, judo chop. Just a very slight little tiny mm-hmm. chop. He gets shit. behind... He fights King Choppa again. He gets behind him and he's just like... Like, he's, like, sliding to yeah. stay directly behind him. And Pretty then good. just a single, like, bip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just get, so... Get. It's so good going yeah. from seeing him, like, training under Mr. Popo. And he can't, mm-hmm. like, fucking stay still or do, like, any of this shit. And now here he's yeah. just, like, perfectly into it. It's such yeah. a good transition. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's not... Uh, I love it. Yeah, this ver- like Goku at this point is like it's this is really good because he's still just out here to have fun and win this fucking tournament no matter what. Yeah, but his like he's reached a like a higher. You can like tell like he's like spiritually at a higher level. Yeah, well, and him like literally not moving at all. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> or breathing even. Fuck. Yeah. And then we get a, uh, and the other surprise is Yajirobe loses in the prelims. To yeah, this fucking nerd, fucking middle-aged <laughs> jackass. It's called Oops. Shen in the, the original, but he's called Hero in the dub. Yeah, I thought for sure it was just Master Roshi somehow. <laughs> I'm like, you can't fucking fool uh, me again. I'm not an eight-year-old. I don't know what's going we also, on here. We also meet uh, grown, grown up three year old Piccolo in his classic Piccolo outfit. This is, yeah. this is what Piccolo wears. Yeah. He's a Piccolo costume. It's, it's a good real outfit. Real Piccolo is here. It's better than, it's, better than yeah. the old man Piccolo. It's distinct. 
Yes. It's billowy. I like a billowy. And he enters the tournament as Ma Jr., which is yeah, basically yeah, yeah. evil Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this guy looks familiar. <laughs> nobody can tell. Nobody can put it together that he Tien. looks like Piccolo. Despite, like, who else has green skin and muscles that, like that? But, nope. Well, yeah, nobody he had his little... Tell. He had his little antenna covered. He could be anybody. <laughs> Only Tien is like, is that is that one of Piccolo's minions? <laughs> you could say that, but don't fucking tell anybody, dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Up! I want to fight him. Yeah, don't, don't you're gonna ruin this for me. Don't start a fucking riot. I need to win the tournament. <laughs> Jackass! God, Goku's fucking determination to win the tournament is only overshadowed by the dub's determination to make him not be determined to win the tournament. <laughs> I did it! I saved the world. Meanwhile, in the sub, I won. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah, Yamcha gets fucking... I mean, look, uh, uh, someone standing up and smashing you in the jaw, that would hurt. That would fucking mm -hmm. sting. That would take me out. Um, oh, yeah, Jorobi. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. He said, he said Yamcha. Yamcha gets That's, hit in a different place. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Yamcha, Yajirobe. And Yajirobe, like, is instantly like, that wasn't an accident. <laughs> yeah, no, he was like, see, and they played that so well, because I was like, he clearly is just, like, embarrassed that he fucking lost. It was uh -huh. an accident. This guy is just stupid. But no, no, he called it. He read him. I did not. This is why I'm not in the tournament. <laughs> yeah. And then... Okay, yeah, no, our first <laughs> match is, yeah, our first big match is Tien versus, uh, Mercenary Tao. Cyber Tao. Cyber Tao. Who fucking unleashes his ultra secret guaranteed techniques knife and gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, under his one hand, he's got a sword, and under his other hand, he's got a laser gun. Yeah. You know, just call it the super dodonpa. These are, these are <laughs> classic martial arts techniques. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically. I was a big fan of, uh, I mean, it's nothing new. Having Tien, like, grab the knife. But mm -hmm. I was a big fan that we didn't get any blood. Just made mm -hmm. it feel even more like... It is wild that stop. the slash he gets on his chest is just a scar he just has. Like the rest of this arc. Really? I did. Oh yeah. yeah I you guess, look at his I guess, chest; yeah, yeah. it's still there the whole time. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, attention to detail. Yeah, man. Chan is so mad, and then he's like, "Oh, you're fucking nothing. She's fucking, we should shit. quit. I don't want to fucking embarrass you." And Tao is just a cartoon character <laughs> and cannot stop. Yeah. And fucking rinses him. That was good. That was a good fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's satisfying for Tien to get that thing. And then also... It's weird. Goku didn't kill that man. Yeah. He thought he killed that man. He didn't. I mean... Look... It was always a little sus. It just didn't seem like the point where an explosion would actually take him out, and he just isn't there. Vapor, I don't know. Uh, yeah. After watching, yeah. after getting an on-screen view of someone getting run through with a spear, <laughs> just a little suspicious that we don't see a body after a thing, you know? Fair. You know, we From didn't a guy... See his you didn't see his torso with a giant fucking gaping hole in it. From so. a, I, and especially when the body is from someone who is well known for yeeting himself away on a pillar. <laughs> like, true. I don't know. Maybe he threw a speck of shrapnel and got away on it. Yajirobe wasn't there to eat him. 
<laughs> seal the deal. <laughs> Dude, even fucking in this, I for, was it just against Piccolo or something? Yeah, Jirobi is like, I'm hungry. He definitely yeah, makes a No, at the end, he's yeah. like, you can fucking eat that. <laughs> oh, man. I will fucking eat him. <laughs> uh, Goku will kill a bitch, but Yajirobe will eat a bitch. Fuck it. <laughs> Goku has to be very hungry to do that. Yeah. Goku Chi Chi match was pretty good. Yeah. Uh huh. It's uh, not really a match. <laughs> It's not, not a match, like... but they did another thing that I fucking love, and it it hit harder. Mm. So, like, this is one of those things where I'm looking, and I'm like, is this where this came from? Probably not. So, okay. So, he does a little punch, right? Just in the air, mm -hmm. and it fucking sends yeah. her back. Great yeah. shit. Top tier. I love it. it. It fucking melts my brain in such a good way. I love that shit. I have formerly seen this in One Punch Man on a fucking blown out scale, right? Mm, sure. So the way they do it is he's in a fight with this guy who wants to like, no, use your full strength. I want to train, blah, 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 whole bullshit. And he does a little thing at the end like of this fight demonstrating that he could have fucking sauced the guy, but he doesn't. And he like punches and stops right before his face. And the camera pans out, and the guy is fine, but behind him, like, the entire fucking landscape has, like, a tunnel through it for, like, mm -hmm. miles. That's good, but this fucking hit harder, even though it was just a little punch. Yeah. You know? Like, it just... The way she goes flying and hits that wall. Dude. And just, like, the fact feels that... Real. And he's like... She's like, ow, what happened? Yeah. He's, like, all worried. Yeah. He's like, don't... Oh, easy. shit. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I don't know. This is also this is peak Chi Chi. Chi Chi is never as good as she is in these episodes ever again. But so yeah, I see. I was thinking about that because I remember what you said about like chicks get married and then that's it. But yeah, I don't know. Like it's. I mean, it's not great, but it doesn't feel. I thought it was going to feel more disgusting. Well, you haven't gotten to Chi Chi just as nagging wife character. And nagging. Which is like what she completely falls into. She just doesn't get to. She doesn't get to do anything ever again. She gets to do stuff in these episodes. You go in a, they go on an adventure. I mean, it's great. I think Chi Chi in the. I love Chi Chi in these episodes. She's great. She gets done dirty by the series going forward. I guess my issue is that, like, <laughs> that makes it worse. But, like, the character, that archetype exists for a reason. I know multiple girls who were super fucking hyped to get married ASAP after high yeah. school, and then they immediately turned into the nagging wife, like, stereotype. So that's... <laughs> yeah. I mean, that kind of sucks. But here she was fine, yeah. like, even when she was all like, no, no I just yeah, want to get married. I'm like, that's <laughs> cool. Like, she's getting married, but still, like, doing stuff. That doesn't seem that bad. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, no. It's 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 in Z, where she's... Yeah. You just want better for the character, honestly. Guess, yeah. Yeah. And it's not, it's that it's not just, it doesn't just happen to Chi Chi. Yeah, no, it happening multiple, like, seeing well, that a second okay. time. Chi Chi's, I think, I, Chi Chi's actually the only one who really just gets stuck in the nagging wife role. Um, But other characters stop being fighters. There's one in particular that's, like, really annoying, but. Mm. um, And one of them honestly gets a little undone in Super. Oh, that's. That's um, good. Gets to do a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not as bad as you can make it sound when you describe it, I guess, sometimes. But with Chi Chi in particular, it just feels rough when, if you think about what she could have been. Because she's. I just like her a lot in these episodes. Yeah. Particularly the, like, 
just her and Goku on their adventure. Dude, her being a side, though, her being more of like a sidekick, like partner. Yeah, it's so it's so good. Even though it's it is a shame it's only in filler. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I also mean, just liked just having someone who's just like Goku's so awesome. It's like yes, I agree. Yeah. Goku is so awesome. I also love how he's just like. I thought a bride was something you eat. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. He's a Goku. Just offhand, like, yeah, sure, I'll marry you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, well, great. shit, I did promise that. All right, will you marry me? <laughs> what a what a gentleman. Like, also, it's hilarious because I'm not used to fiction where just so like, oh, these two people are just going to get married and it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just get along. You know. It's nice funny. to see. Yeah. It's cute. Uh, what fight is after that? Krillin. Krillin and Piccolo. And Piccolo. Fucking. This is like Krillin. This is a very good fight for Krillin. Even though he's completely outclassed. I mean, he puts like, on a good show. He gets to do a thing. Look, I'd rather see him getting outclassed and surrendering than seeing him win by farting on somebody's face. <laughs> mm, mm, I don't know. Him farting in Bacterian's face was pretty fucking good. Bacterian is a fucking mistake, dude. <laughs> he was a mistake. The show hasn't made many mistakes. Yeah. He's a mistake. I find him more offensive than anything else in this series. Anything. <laughs> because worse than a- wow. offending my sense of morality, he offends every sense. <laughs> uh, but no, it was a very good Krillin fight. He gets Come. his big Kamehameha. Yeah. This guy, it's fucking dope looking. Doesn't really... He misses, but <laughs> it's whatever. I, I I just like that he got to go out like he's like, nope, that's that's it. Yeah. I'm... Like last arc he got killed off screen. So <laughs> you know, it's nice to just see him fucking show up and do his best and Yeah. Know his limits. I mean that's also a sign of extreme growth, dude. Knowing your limits is true. More people need to be familiar with that concept. Because mm-hmm. because like so much of Krillin before this is like he's either completely scared or he's wildly overconfident. Wildly overconfident. <laughs> he's like either it's either one or the other. He thinks he's fucking worthless or he's like way too confident. Yeah. And it's good to just see him like. No, I'm going to lose, but here, I got some strats. I'm going to do some things. I'm going to have fun. Man, even though it hasn't been that long, like an hour time since we watched the early episodes, getting mm-hmm. the flashback of them when like Krillin first shows up, like they're so uh-huh. fucking little pudgers. <laughs> He's like a different person. He's a tiny child. A child who shows up and he's like, I know what my master likes. Pulls out like 80 <laughs> pornos, porn mags. True. That is Roshi's, how he's introduced. Roshi's like, you yeah, gotta get me a woman. And Krillin's like, all right. This fucking yeah, I know your wanna. type. I know what master likes. <laughs> uh, he's like, oh, yeah. what, like 11? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him and Goku, very different. But, yeah. He cannot ride the Flying Nimbus. <laughs> he cannot. It's true. Uh, and then we get Yamcha versus Hero. Hero. That was a that was a good one. I like Yamcha the... does not it does not have the sense that Yajirobe has. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. He's not clued in that he is getting fucking played. Even when God fucking jump kick attacks and hero like block like stuffs him by 
ball him in the balls with his head. God. <laughs> I'm just curled up on the ground. Just absolutely <laughs> wrecked. Uh, I feel that pain in my soul. <laughs> Yamcha doomed to learn lose in the first round every time. Fuck. They can't He's got all a new be technique the... though. Got his new his little spirit ball. Right, 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 right. The little controllable fucking thing. Mm -hmm. His remote, remote control. control. <laughs> ball of energy. Yeah. And he knocks still, off I mean his glasses. He also busted out that tried and true wolf fang fist bullshit well yeah, it doesn't it work. tried tried but not <laughs> Hero true. just like completely catches every hand it's, yeah it's like nope <laughs> uh yeah hero's trying Yamcha to teach in the way hero's trying to teach him about like not underestimating his opponent yeah i like no <laughs> Yamcha refuses to learn to learn to not underestimate his opponent, even though he really should. Uh, it's <laughs> gonna be it's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Uh, Hero turning on his real power, pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Goku and, realizing uh, it. Yeah, Goku figures out it's Kami. <laughs> Figures out that Yamcha was fighting God. Yeah, uh-huh. It was God that hit Yamcha in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Also, um, Piccolo watching him and going, like, why is this fighting style like mine? That's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good, though. There were so many little moments that were just fucking cool as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we get the uh, the conversation between Kami and Goku. Goku's like, why'd you enter the tournament? And he, Kami's just like, you, you're not going to fucking kill him, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the balls. You don't fucking have the balls to murder him because I'll die. You don't got the dragon balls to do it, Goku. I wish Mr. Popu hadn't told you that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, the later line where Goku's like, oh, so even God could lie, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just out here wanting people to fucking kill Piccolo so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot fucking take it. Some. Which is very funny to me because it's like. King Piccolo, like, took. Like, ruined the world. But he was like, Kami kind of did shit about it. <laughs> but now he's like. Because Goku gave him hope? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's also like insecurity because he kind of knows that new Piccolo is so much stronger. Yeah. Whereas like old Piccolo was like beneath him. <laughs> I mean, this just like. <laughs> Falls in line. New Piccolo being stronger, by the way, falls in line with the uh, the Dragon Ball law of energy transfer. You know, you climb down the tower, you get stronger. <laughs> Normally, you would think dying and laying an egg, you don't get all your full power in that egg. It's going to be weaker than you. No, no, no. Stronger. <laughs> Has all your power from the start and then only gets stronger yeah. because it trains hard. It climbed down the he's, tower. He's focused. Yeah, he's focused, focused on getting stronger. Like Piccolo, before that, Piccolo, he had no reason to train or get stronger. He was True. top dog. True. Would you say that... Now was, he had a reason to get stronger. Goku would you, beat him. Would you say that it is commitment and sheer fucking will? <laughs> Look, Piccolo just needed his own Jackie Chun. <laughs> He got he got lazy. He did get lazy. Then he got fucking 
wrecked. He got a hole in his chest. Big old fucking hole. A Goku-sized hole. If only he had taken out Goku's other arm. But he left Goku with one arm. And then... I mean, that's skipping ahead, but the fact that that didn't yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. matter is... Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Um, where were we? Oh, Goku Tien, I suppose, is the next one. Yes, now we get, we get Goku vs. Tien rematch. Which is very good. Mm-hmm. I mean, best fight in the thing for me. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Like, the whole like Goku time. Goku just when... fucking... Yeah. They're, like, fighting tense. Like, you can't beat me. You're not fast enough. It's like, all right. I'll take off my weighted clothing. Well, he's, like, going. And the whole time, they're just, like, making... They're jumping to people making comments. Well, I think it's maybe just Roshi. But mm-hmm. they do it a few times where he's, like... Goku's, like, not breathing. <laughs> <laughs> there was even one where like Goku like even without making that comment the whole time they're just super consistent about having yeah, Goku yeah. stand there and Tien's just fucking gasping for air. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Tien's is like going all himself. out. He's exerting and himself. Goku is Goku's like standing there. Yeah, Goku is never showing any exasperation or or anything. And God, <laughs> when they. When he oh, when he takes off the fucking t-shirt, everyone's like, why the fuck is, like, I don't get this. Is he, he's warm? <laughs> like, I'll, I guess we'll go help, like, get rid of the clothes or whatever. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then Goku just starts fucking moving, and you're like, oh, no. Ah. Oh. Losing All the Goku mind. feet fans rejoice. All the Goku, he fucking showed feet. <laughs> so Man. much Goku foot action in this tournament. God. I was literally, like, this. Is, I was going fucking nuts. <laughs> I was actually, like, a small hyperactive child. Like, I was just losing my entire fucking mind. Uh like there was it's not often that I actually react to things like while mm-hmm. watching on my own but I was like it was just nonstop <laughs> like I was, every other fucking minute I was just like holy shit holy shit just freak it out and then and then when uh Tien does all of his bullshit turns into four people and he's shooting lasers out of his third eye and Steals all that. Ninja Murasaki's move. And fucking <laughs> fucking Goku is just like, yeah, that was pretty good, but like two weak spots. <laughs> I already I already noticed, noticed two weak spots in your technique. Can you do it again? Can you do it again and I'll just I'll show you. Just it, run it back. <laughs> It's like some Smash Bros. shit. It's like me and my brother playing Smash Bros. And my brother discovers like a new move. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, no, stand back and get ready to counter. I want to try something. <laughs> and then he just fucking uh, immediately rinses him. And then they all... <laughs> steals Tien's own move. Do the solar thing. And then when Tien's the like, flare. you also can't see. And it's like, no, he fucking can because of the training. <laughs> the fucking training. Ah. It sends your energy. And I love, I fucking love, I don't think they explain it, right? If I remember it correctly. Like, they don't have Goku, like, tell him how he can see, right? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think they do. Because one of the things I remember liking was that they were just showing, you know? They weren't fucking Mm -hmm. repeating to us. They were just showing it. It was fucking cool, and there was no stupid exposition. It was so cool. (laughs) It was so fucking good. And then Goku's like, also, you split your energy between four people, get fucking wrecked. (laughs) And just, like, insta takes him out. Dude, After the that. pile of TNs on the ground. <laughs> it's like that move was kind of bad. <laughs> that would be great if I wasn't the best. <laughs> if I was a weak piece of shit, 
I don't know what I would have done. Like, maybe you ten should have just grown two extra arms again. Launch yeah, was also better. losing her mind at that move. Launch. I didn't know he was a mind. quadruplet. Launch thinking about the possibilities. <laughs> oh yeah, this is when uh, Goku fucking took Tien's belt too. Yes. And I was like, Launch is obsessed with this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they literally show her, like, covering her face, and but, like, still looking. Yeah. And blushing. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Goku just steals Tien's belt. Tien's pants Such a down. dumb fucking thing. It's like, just fucking embarrasses him. Absolutely wrecked. It's like, you're fucking trash. Also, Tien's belt, belt is pretty fucking flimsy. It's like just a piece of cloth. <laughs> I mean, it was probably wrapped up pretty tight, though. And there was a, the thing is, yeah. there was a lot of it. It was, like, wrapped around and around. It's true. Maybe Chen should get pants that fit. I don't know. That's fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be billowy, man. True. It's actually one of Toriyama the things... does love a good billowy pant. I mean, I do as well. I had a nice pair of very billowy pants, and they were the most comfortable things in the world. And then I started getting on my uh, natural fiber train, and they were polyester, so I, I ditched them. Mm. And now I can't get any more because I'm in Russia. Mm -hmm. But I can recommend billowy pants. Highly recommend. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and then after the fight, Tien's like, it was the strongest opponent I've ever faced, and I'm 100% sure he was holding back. <laughs> he didn't even yeah, use the Kamehameha. Dude, yeah. He didn't even really, need it. Like, he did, that was such... And they, like... <laughs> I don't know if it was, like, the ending line, but it was, like, ending on a beat or whatever. He's like, he yeah. didn't even use the Kamehameha. And then just kind of, like, goes to something else, and you're just like, oh, fuck. And it's something... I Like, I didn't even... At the time, I didn't even think of it. Until he yeah, said yeah. that, because you're just so immersed in what's happening. And you're like, oh, <laughs> shit. Still had all these. He was just doing normal shit. It's true. He just took off the 250, extra, <laughs> 250 pounds <laughs> he, he just, was wearing. He just dropped weight. <laughs> Fucking... Kami's over here going, oh, he's taking that off already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, taking what off? <laughs> Man. And then we get uh, Kami versus Piccolo. Hero versus Piccolo. It was get okay. Them speaking in their angry alien language. That wasn't an alien language. That was just English with a voice filter. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was like it. it wasn't the best fight. No, but like it was. There was some good shit there. Mm -hmm. We got the reverse I, Mafuba. The big thing is the reverse Mafuba. Yes. Whoa! No. Kami busts out the Mafuba, and then Piccolo's like, get wrecked. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fool me th four times. <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> uh, and then Kami, like, lets. Uh, he releases the dude he possessed so that he doesn't get put in the bottle. The fucking bottle. And then he eats the bottle. And then he eats. And then Piccolo eats the bottle. Keeps him safe in his tum tum. The safe, or I guess the bottom of his heart, as he puts it. Whatever. That's just your spouse. <laughs> sure, Kami fancy. thanks you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we find out that uh, that dude had a kid. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That man had yeah, a family. Yeah. 
guy. Wow, yeah. Dad, I didn't know you were so strong. That's so cool. You're in the <laughs> I didn't really have to Call me. That man had a family. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> wow. He's God. Just needed the That's biggest just another, nerd. It's just another meat sack to him. He just needed the biggest nerd. Yeah, he just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Most, like... The most unassuming shitbag. The most awkward middle-aged man. The worst part is that guy might have not been that awkward. No, he like, was that awkward. I mean, we didn't see much. You're right. Kami was probably playing it up. You're not wrong. Like, he was awkward, but he also just woke up from a fucking fever dream in front of a shitload of people. It's true. He went to the go to the bathroom and he got kidnapped. <laughs> Had his identity stolen. Imagine if you were getting ready to drop a big old shit and then someone snapped their fingers and all of a sudden you were standing in front of thousands of people on a martial <laughs> arts stage. You also would be awkward. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Just imagine if God stole your body for a few hours. Depends on what he's doing with my and body. Did incredibly public things. Incredibly public. <laughs> Did things in front of an audience. Wouldn't be the first time. Although it also Kami releasing him before he gets stuck in the bottle uh, saves Piccolo from having to answer some questions from the judge staff about what happened to his opponent. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Just like, oh, that's a knockout. It's like, did you kill your opponent? No, I just stuck him in this bottle and then ate the bottle. It's not killing him He's at all. He's not dead. <laughs> He's incapacitated or whatever. Dude, yeah. also, I, I just thought of it for some reason. They really focused on repairing the ring this time. Mm -hmm. We got like four shots of people replacing tiles. <laughs> Yeah, man. Tiles getting busted up all over the place this time. And the one guy was People even like, stronger. you know I like a straight tile. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. Yeah, then we get, you know, the match. Goku versus the match. Piccolo. Now this fight. This fight fucking rules. This fight is so fucking good, dude. The very. I mean, you sent me uh you sent me a little clip of them like going. That's later, but like the yeah. whole thing just felt so good. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of good shit, a lot of good There's, sequences. That's a, it's the the perfect match of two people just punching each other over and over again with impact. And yeah. also, like, high-level fucking beam struggle shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it God. just it has everything. Has someone turning big, eventually? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Piccolo get, gets huge. And then gets huger. Yeah. And then Goku jumps inside him and starts, like, punching his fucking throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um, we get Piccolo just like ready to blow up the crowd <laughs> so Goku has to like can't just dodge yeah uh, we get the crowd very very slowly realizing they're in actual danger and also that that's Piccolo <laughs> I think in the if I remember right, in the subs they realized it a lot faster. They started saying like, is that Piccolo? Or something they, they like just like say he's does he look familiar and like no one can put their finger on it. But in the dub they're just like completely like boy oh boy or whatever. Mm -hmm. For more lines or whatever. Sure. Isn't it launch he starts saying he's Piccolo? And then I the think crowd so. catches on. I think so, yeah. Launch is always <clears throat> calling it, man. Yeah, but, but also, it's like not really until Goku blows off his hat. <laughs> well, yeah, then his antennas are revealed. <laughs> There's an antenna showing. That, is, that he's 100% Piccolo. Whoa! <laughs> he 
He has his. I mean the Goku trap. Well, I don't know if I could. You're big. I don't know if I could handle it if you were bigger. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he gets bigger and Goku's like, excellent. Aha. You've fallen for my Felt. ruse. You've fallen for my trap card. I just love that. I mean, you see it coming a mile away. <laughs> it's still just like, yeah, yeah got a <laughs> bitch. And then Kami's instantly like, come on, Goku, we can take him together. We can fucking finish this. <laughs> Goku's like, no, stop. Go away. You, you're I don't want to get disqualified. Yeah, you're going to get me disqualified, God. Fucking bail. Fucking <laughs> stop. Gives, gives Piccolo the free punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Second year in a row, or in the finals, somebody cheated and with outside help, and had to let the other player, the other fighter, give them a free hit. Look, it's doing. <laughs> it, at least they're doing the honorable thing. Uh-huh. Um, the fucking everybody leaves. So the the announcer still just has to call the game. The announcer, is he's there. so dedicated. <laughs> Look, if man, you can he, hear my voice. He needs this job. <laughs> <laughs> he's, look, he just loves martial arts. The fucking blast was cool as shit. <laughs> Everything, like, just completely disintegrated. <laughs> like, it's just desert. Uh huh. There's no way those people lived. Right? Like, everything around them was desert, man. It just all turned into (laughs) sand. They they ran away. They're fine. I don't know if they can run that fast. Shh, they're fine. How fast can a giraffe run? (laughs) Did that giraffe make it out of there? (laughs) The giraffe was so surprised it was King Piccolo. (laughs) Yeah, and then, uh, they fucking Goku's telling everybody, "You gotta run, you gotta get out of here," and I'm gonna just gonna fucking take it, but you guys gotta leave. And they're like, "All right, we'll make this hole, and we'll all jump in this hole." I mean, that's a good, <laughs> it's a good strategy, dude. It worked out. It worked. Yeah. Like, God. Piccolo, you did s- successfully destroy, like, everything but Goku. Congrats. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Goku um, getting fucking beat to shit is also pretty good. As yeah. I mentioned earlier, getting the the repeat. Yes. Uh-huh. Goku once again. Well, we have, we have the moment where it looks like Goku's won. And the ref starts to 10 count. And Goku, like, turns and he's, like, giving a thumbs up to everybody. And then Piccolo's, like, blah! Laser beam from his blah. mouth. Blasts Goku right through the fucking chest. Missing all of his vital organs? But then Goku, like, it's too bad. Your aim sucks. You missed all my vital organs. All of them? All of them? <laughs> It's in like his upper right chest I like area. The There's no no organs Piccolo there. knows Goku has organs, but he doesn't know like what totally they are. Sure. He, he really <laughs> thought humans were more like Invader Zim on the inside, just all organs. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Oh. <laughs> that was such a good bit. <laughs> That shot did it did shock me though. I wasn't quite expecting it. To see Goku penetrated like that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see full penetration. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, we got it last time. We had a Goku Piccolo fight. I mean, yeah, but I didn't. I didn't expect <laughs> it was just very sudden. You know, uh-huh. like I, it got me a little. I, it's not like I you expected screamed. Goku to be a top. I see. It's not like I screamed, <laughs> but like I, I like, I jolted it's a little. Shocking. I did. Uh-huh. See Goku that fucking fucked up. Yeah. And then Piccolo's like explicitly like, 
fucking last time, my dad left you with one arm. I'm not fucking making that mistake. But he left him with a head, you bitch. Like, it's true. <laughs> he, with head. he fucking when he fucking like elbows him in the his fucking chest wound. Oh, and dude, then, like, steps yeah. on him. And Goku's like screaming. It's like they're showing shit, dude. That was brutal. Kami's like Chen, fucking murder me. So Piccolo dies. <laughs> the launch is just like do it. <laughs> Kill God. <laughs> Launch. Fucking do it! That's a great idea. Launch is so into the idea. You know, you know that if Tien would have killed God, Launch would have been like insatiable. <laughs> Can you imagine the guy you're crushing on? You then find out kills God. Oh, who can resist? Pretty hot. The fucking and commies to Tien like, don't worry, you can wish me back with the Dragon Balls. It's fine. Don't think about it. Just do it. No, we can't. <laughs> what? Oh, They're so God can you. lie. God can lie. <laughs> Goku, you bitch. Kami, the Dragon Balls won't work. Oh. We get Piccolo charging up his ultimate attack to finish Goku. We see a little energy around Goku. Blast goes off. And then Goku's gone. And Piccolo's all like, fucking yeah, I won. Krillin's all ready to fight. And then they see, off in the distance, <laughs> Goku flying just, in like I'm a missile. Diving in, yeah. Head first, baby. <laughs> Fucking headbutts Piccolo out of the ring. The ring out. And Goku is like, he's out of the ring, right? He's he's like, oh, oh, yeah, he is out of the ring. I, Goku I, wins. I mean, the, the ring is kind of <laughs> destroyed. It's hard to I tell. Guess, yeah, no, he's out. He's like, like, they cut back to Goku. He's just fucking destroyed. He's like, yeah, he's out. I'll, I'll count. Or it's a ring out. <laughs> he did it. Yeah. Fucking Goku wins by ring out. I won. Fucking hilarious. I got the title. <laughs> like, give him one sense of being, his chest would instantly heal. Dude, he just fucking pops up. He's just fucking flying, which has been unclear if he's been able to do. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's mostly been using Kamehameha's for sailing around the fast, air, like his fast travel. Kamehameha wave. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Oh, the, so other, the other hint is when he's. The thing we we skipped over is when he when Piccolo fires that beam that's like chasing him, he like instantly changes his direction midair to push himself down. I noticed that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I was and like, then he when he gets yeah. right up into Piccolo's face and is smiling, and then like shifts off to the side, and Piccolo gets blasted by his own move. And his yeah. arm is crippled, and he's bleeding everywhere, oh, yeah, he and he rips fucking off. rips off his own <laughs> arm. And grows a new one instantly. Fucking hardcore. That's, that's fucking metal. It's also very funny because, like in Z, they will Piccolo's blood will no longer be red because of stuff like this. But in this, his blood is just red. Yeah. <laughs> I think they changed his blood to purple. I mean, that makes sense. But here, it is full on red. He and then rips off his own arm. Fucking metal pretty good and then like god goku, goku being so happy he won the tournament too it's uh, it's so good and He's the dub like... shit's all over it <laughs> <laughs> just popping around i one, love one. love that goku is literally the ultimate chad i mean he's always been the <laughs> ultimate chad he'll just fucking roll up and test if you're a woman but also uh. Or a man. He doesn't give a fuck. He just, he just, he just can't tell. <laughs> he just wants. just actually doesn't know. Some people are like, oh, I, I can't see this race. Is his, this is the bullshit. way he is, just, he is determined that he can be j- judged. Based on <laughs> what society has told him or whatever. Um, but now he's like, Goku. <laughs> give me a do sense. You want, do you want, Goku, do you want to be God? No. 
<laughs> what? Head. That was it was so boring being up there for three years. I can't fucking do that again. Are you kidding me? That he just hits him with the face and <laughs> yeets off with Gigi. Which the so tongue good. and pulls down his eyelid. Yeah. Pieces out with Gigi. Ultimate chat. <laughs> Ultimate. Also, he gives gives Piccolo the sensu bean immediately. Oh yeah, and that's like, like, Kami's fucking ready to fucking kill him, and then Goku's like, "No, don't fucking do that. You'll die." And I then saw also that one. gives Piccolo a sensu bean. Is like, fucking, it's fine. I'll just fight him again. Don't worry about it. That was see. I saw that <laughs> one coming. Too fun. <laughs> I just didn't know which direction they were gonna take it. Cause I'm like, mm-hmm. is this gonna be another case of like? Tien, but on steroids, you know, villain joins hero just to beat them, and then over time becomes like a good guy. Mm-hmm. Then he just he's up. He's like, "I'll fucking get you next time." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> Flies away. <laughs> Great shit. Absolutely fucking. Like I, I, I feel like I say it a lot, in in hyperbole, but like literally one of the best things I've ever seen, in mm-hmm. a show, like ever. Mm-hmm. So it's fucking good. good. It's so fun. It, yeah, dude, it's just good, and it just doesn't stop. You know, it's not like there's ever mm-hmm. like it never dips for this entire tournament. Yeah. It's so propulsive because you know you're like it got it keeps giving you stuff, but also you're like, I gotta see that fucking Piccolo Goku fight. Gotta see it. Yeah, man. It has to happen. I mean, I like I said, I can't actually as far as sitting and looking at a thing and not doing anything else. I can't think if I've ever sat and watched more than 20 episodes of a show and and been that immersed in it for that long. Mm. I can think of times where it's been like I've watched a couple episodes and maybe and then it turns out like the last 6 are bangers instead of like the last 2. And so I watch like 6 and then it's like, oh, I've watched 10 episodes today. But 20 being fucking doing nothing else but just staring at my screen and laughing as I'm so excited. 20 mm-hmm. episodes? I don't know that that's ever happened before. It's crazy. I've binged plenty of shows that hard. Yeah, but you but. also don't, like, you're, like, incapable of watching them while doing other stuff or whatever. Uh, that that used to not be the case at all. Uh, I used to multitask like crazy, but not like probably not anime. I do have to like reading subtitles is like the second thing basically. Yeah. But if I were watching any kind of dub thing, like when I was watching this originally or whatever, like fucking playing Game Boy or whatever the whole time, for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, while I've been playing video games and watching stuff, I'll take out, like, you know, 30 yeah. episodes of something in a sitting, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. playing Pokemon or whatever. Mm-hmm. Something, something turn-based so they can... <laughs> go in and out easier or whatever. Um, Yeah, that's yeah. the end of the uh, manga f- that was adapted into Dragon Ball. Before it it skips over into Dragon Ball Z. That's where the manga ends, is with Goku and Chi Chi flying off, and then there's a little, there's a in the corner, there's a little Roshi who's there. It's like, don't worry, there's more Dragon Ball because that could like really feel like the end of the series. Yeah. Oh, totally. It's like, but he's like, no, there's, it's gonna keep going. And even, well, oh no, I guess we get. Because we have the Goku is the world's strongest man, though. Yeah, man. He he won the world martial arts tournament. He's the strongest. You know what? Uh, speaking of him being a man, uh, mm-hmm. we do get a throwaway line about his tail. Like, oh yeah, yes. it's got 
He restored the moon, but to do it, he had to take my tail. It just yeah, like, okay. And we never reference it again. <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought maybe it would grow back during the Piccolo fight, like they would do that thing again. But mm-hmm. no go. No. Nope. He's got his tail removed, and the moon is exists again. <laughs> and then we get to the uh, the chi But Goku still doesn't know that he turned into a giant fucking monkey. Yeah, it just doesn't. You know. That. He's unaware. Uh, How would that ever come back? So, you know, we finished the tournament arc, right? Uh-huh. And yep. my hype is fucking beyond maxed. Like, it just mm-hmm. broke the... It broke Vegeta's hype scanner. <laughs> so you can't, can't handle my levels of hype. And then, I'm like, we're winding down a little bit with this Chi-Chi arc. It's still good, but it's not like tournament good. And then yeah. we get a 50-foot tall woman. <laughs> <laughs> we do get that. It's true. <laughs> I also grabbed that great screenshot of what's her name being saying, uh, the, qual- the quality of your spaghetti has been a little lacking as of late. Your fucking slurp sound, Jinx, in the dub at the end of that episode. <laughs> like, you don't want to ruin the world, would you? you? <laughs> and Goku's just like, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> Gotta fucking... Uh, Goku. Save if Ox you, King. If you do this, you'll send the whole world to hell. Can you save him or not? <laughs> Is that a Yes. <laughs> Goku's very determined. I mean, I would also not understand the severity of that if I had been to, like, a demon-filled area and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> like, hell's not that bad. Just kick their ass. <laughs> it's true. If they're bad people, I'll just beat them up. Hey. It's fine. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> Goku clearly not that worried about the world going to hell since he just fucking healed Piccolo. Yeah, but he knows that Piccolo is, like, a soft little bitch now, and he'll just be focused on, like, getting stronger than him instead of destroying the world. It's true. Easy read. It's way more important to become stronger than it is to destroy the world. Goku knew he could, as soon as Piccolo fell for his dumb, oh, if only a good thing you're not bigger, Piccolo fell for that, and Goku's like, yeah, this guy, like, open book. (laughs) (laughs) He'll be focused now. But Goku, the, you let him go. What about the world? He's not going to do shit. He's got to get stronger. Not strong enough. Um. Yeah. It would have been very funny if Piccolo had just been like fucking immediately attacked him. And just then immediately died. Like Goku and Kami had teamed up on him and he just died. <laughs> <laughs> just like gotten wrecked. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. This the ending stuff with Chi Chi was like kind of whatever. It was good watching them do yeah. stuff, but it's it. I like it because it's like this is our last bit of like classic Dragon Ball going on an adventure. Yeah, whatever. It's a good send off for this TV show. True, as the uh, the story is about to pivot and kind of change genre almost. We got the uh, fucking misogynist mountain. <laughs> we did get misogynist mountain. Wait, are you a Wh- woman? <laughs> this this mountain hates women. Dude, I did. Weather gets I, really bad. I don't know if there's a woman. I here. did. I I was fucking laughing when Pilaf was like, "My, I want to try an experiment," and he just fucking pushes her off the fucking mountain <laughs> fucking kicks her so that she <laughs> rolls off the mountain and then she comes back and the blizzard starts up again i mean like it's fucking bad but it's dull it's just dumb and funny like this, look this mountain is just a complete misogynist i'll just stupidly tell you stupidly sexist i don't like that's nature i guess <laughs> it's the nature of this fictional mountain yeah we get uh, Ox King in his new look. He looks snazzy, dude. He's 
Scott. I myself he just looks like thinking, a dude now. I've been thinking he looks about like a man. Overalls. He's got or not the overalls, suspenders. Not he's got overalls. suspenders. He's got glasses instead of that weird helmet. Yeah. Huh? This is just what Oxygen looks like from now on. I mean, that makes sense. Like, yeah. Just a man with large pants. Built his castle on top of a fucking eternal fire. <laughs> Seems like a bad move, but but you'd think after the first time it was trapped in eternal flame, you might rebuild it somewhere else, but nah. Nah. I just don't get why it stopped for Look, so he doesn't long. Make, Ox King does not up. make wise financial decisions. No, I think he is making wise financial decisions. He had enough to build that castle right back up. And also, would a person wearing suspenders and glasses like that not make good financial decisions? No. <laughs> Clearly, he has a you know he has it all figured out. We'll see. It's all in the look. <laughs> we get to see a Gohan again. Yeah. Working He's like, another job. I mean, the job seems to be being, like, the sub to this woman. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> I forget what the it's line the way is, he but likes they, defi- it. they definitely make a joke about, like, oh, take care of her, or something. <laughs> I forget exactly what they say. Mm-hmm. Um, we get lots of octagon jokes. There's so many octagons in this universe, man. So many octagons. We get bullshit video game questing where <laughs> just you just have to go to a place and they wind up with an item that's like, I don't know why this is useful. And then later it turns out these are exactly the items they needed to fix the thing that they would have had no way of knowing they needed beforehand. And the fact the old that... school adventure game bullshit. And the fact that like... They had to go to a place, and then they got to that place, and it was like, oh, no, like you can't do this because we need that. And then they go to a different place. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they find the recipe for the Pancho fan, and that turns out to just be lies that Master Roshi <laughs> wrote down in to order to trick. try and get girls <laughs> to impress ladies. Yeah. Everything in that book is a lie. It's just bullshit. <laughs> uh, and then they find they just happen to find another Bancho fan. <laughs> that old lady just has it. Well, isn't that like uh, the actual one? Because there's only one, but it just like they kept meeting people. Who were like, oh, I thought it was here. It did this or something? No, because Master Roshi had it. Remember, but it was like wrecked in back in episode seven or whatever oh when they when master Oshi used the kamehameha for the first time uh, he had a banjo fan but he had like been using it as a coaster and it was all <laughs> right right up. right so he had to use the kamehameha instead right right yeah There's that fucking fire eater bird. That big yeah. dummy. <laughs> and fucking... I hope the way it eats fire. It's just like... Jump. Uh... <laughs> Man, the, the reveal were like... They were trying to get the feathers. They're like, oh, the feathers. They're just disintegrating. And then that transitioned into like... Finding out that Roshi was just bullshitting. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty Roshi's good. Roshi's book was all lies. I it was just such a good way to, to like show it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I also love we get we get our last. This is you know we get our send off for the peel off gang. Gets to meet they get to meet adult Goku. Like oh no. 
<laughs> Those poor bastards. And Pilaf is just like, we'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> he just like, you looks taller. <laughs> Man, when they're on the fucking mountain and they just keep shooting shit at him and it keeps freezing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They just they brought flamethrowers so to an ice mountain and it's just like it's it turns to ice. I love how they went from a threat to just like not even a bump. Like <laughs> they're but they're just still there to like doing shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Too good. You just always have more mechs. Don't worry about it. The mechs just keep getting like shittier and shittier these ones didn't even have temperature control apparently they're all just freezing sure. inside them <laughs> uh and uh the the wedding dress is saved at the end of the day yeah and there's a wedding man yeah, goku and chichi get married and then it's like facts. The adventures of Dragon Ball Z will take place five years after this. Sure. Go watch it. Mm-hmm. We we will. I mean, I might start watching it. Uh, probably not tonight, but tomorrow maybe. Oh. Well, we're not gonna watch original Z. We're gonna do Kai. Well, Kai yeah, also. Okay. We'll do some episodes of Original Z. Are we gonna Are we gonna insert those? I don't know. I don't know that we need to, honestly. Okay, that means less work for me trying to yeah find them. I think it's just simple if we just watch Kai. Yeah, fair enough. Like, cause I, I like just rewatch. I I was thinking about it, so I rewatched like the best filler episode. And it's like wow. it's okay, but wow. it's not like I don't know. We can do it whenever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna. The bigger thing is, I would say, don't watch. There's like an intro thing. At the beginning of episode one of Kai, that like shows off stuff from one of the movies, and I would literally skip all that because it's trying to like put a framing on the story that I think is dumb. <laughs> um, so like you want, is ba- it is it just like the is it almost like the last time on Dragon Ball? Is it like that sort of intro, kind of, but longer? Yeah, it's like, like a. Th- third of the first episode or something hmm I mean I'll let you <laughs> check it out and get back to yeah me. I'll tell you the timestamp on the on the episode because I just I just think it's worth skipping because I mean we'll get to that movie later but I don't want like I just don't want that to be like driving your thinking about the show for, like stuff that is coming up that yeah. Also, yeah, kind yeah. of doesn't matter in some ways because it like puts import on a sto- on a movie that's like technically non-canon. <laughs> weird. Because Sounds late like, like later, uh, Toriyama reads that story himself. Gotcha. Okay, that makes a little more sense then, at least. Hmm. Yeah, man. The hype is is still very real. Like, it, the fact that, like you said, uh, you finish this and it, it feels like it, it could just be the end. Yeah. But then you, like, got fucking hundreds of episodes to keep going. Oh. And I'm fucking ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is there is good shit ahead of us. Good fights to be had, and and like Goku will continue to get stronger. What? This I promise what? you. This is my my <laughs> the Dragon Ball promise. Goku, <laughs> he's gonna get stronger. Man, I like 
it just bag like now that we've finished OG Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an easy like top. Like this is fucking beyond ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. Like it's just incredibly good. It is also wild to think about that probably the majority of Dragon Ball Z fans in the West haven't really watched Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of nuts. <laughs> like most, and, and most, at least, almost all also like started with Z. It was like, yeah, certainly yeah. way more common. Just well, yeah. keep that in the back of your head. <laughs> We're watching like this. Like, I guess not exactly these because they, it's a little cut out, but. You know, mo basically, people started with what we're going to be watching. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I knew Dragon Ball Z existed. I didn't know that regular. It would be fucking a decade before learning that Dragon mm -hmm. Ball existed. Yeah. And even then, it was like a vague awareness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is, this is great shit. I've had a very it's a good very time. good show. Strong recommend. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for Goku to be like another fucking five years older? Um. Yes. Mostly just because I thought that we were like. I, I was, like, doubting myself because we got Goku at the end of this series. And I'm like, mm -hmm. is this, like, his final look? I remember, like, I haven't watched much, but I guess I thought I remembered him looking older. But whatever, maybe I just misremembered. And they're like, oh, Z takes place five years in the future. I'm like, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. I, I know what he looks like. Mm-hmm. I think it gets a little, it gets a little chunkier as he gets older. Which I mean, I miss the chunk. <laughs> he, like he's strong, but he's not chunk. So it's true. He's, he's felt. There's just something about, you know, that that screenshot with the from the back of his arm, like the <laughs> the fucking uh. length to width ratio is just. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is what peak performance looks like <laughs> at age 15. <laughs> God. It's such a fucking good. And I think the best part, is, I guess, is Yajirobe's arm is just taking up the entire side of that frame. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Thick boys. Thick boys. Anyway, it's Salt Circle Podcast, gmail.com, Salt Circle Pod on Twitter. Um, Salt Circle Podcast, anchor.fm slash Salt Circle, podcasting applications. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. I'm not. At all. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get to, you know, keep doing episodes. I Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> See ya.